hello and welcome back to Diary of My Frugal Life. I'm here to uh, check in for week one November and to cash up for week two. So let's have a look um, where I spent my money in the first week of November. So on Sunday, I put fifty pounds of diesel in my car. Uh, on Monday, I bought uh, vitamins for five pounds. On Tuesday, uh, I went to Tesco and I spent one pound seventy. Uh, and I also bought um, some uh, um, medication, and it was nine pounds. Then Wednesday was a non-spend. No spend on Thursday. Uh, I had breakfast out on Friday, so it was six pound forty-five. And then I went to pets at home, and I had twenty percent off the cat carriers. Uh, I needed to buy um, a cat carrier for Jimmy because I would like him to have his own cat carrier, um, for when we go on holiday. Uh, and I also bought a new one for Peanut because his one was a bit smaller for him. So I bought those two with 20% off. I also got um, a free bag of treats for Teddy because it's his birthday on Monday. I bought him a um, toy and I bought three advent calendars for the cats. So... It came up to £70.70 70 pence, uh, from the cat's envelope. Today I went to the range. I had uh, to buy something for work. It was £1.79. I also bought uh, some sellotape and washing up liquid for me because I ran out of. And it was £2.08. And, and I went to Tesco for groceries and it was... £30.54. My work expenses was £9.04. And, and the cats spent £6.57 from their purse. So let's have a look and see what's left in my purse. I hope you have all had a lovely week. Not too spendy. I didn't think my week was very spendy. So groceries is empty. I've got five pounds left on my diesel envelope for the first time. Not only um, I didn't need to top up my car with um, with fuel, but I also didn't spend everything on my um, envelope. Cats will keep theirs. Work expenses zero. I have some money left from my just in case envelope. And eating out is keeping the money. So, first thing I'm going to do, I am going to get, got a two pound coin. I have one pound coin, a 50p, and I have change. So the change will go to my penny uh, saving. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 36, 37p. So I just need my right here, 37. And I'm grabbing my tin. And everything is going inside. Lovely. The 50p is going to my giving envelope. As always. And now I've got 5, 10, oh. 11, 12, 13, 14 pounds. The two pounds is going to the Save the Gold Challenge. And 
just going to move things around here so you can see properly. Sorry. Oh. Hope you can see. Okay. Oh, I only need 10 more two pound coins to finish uh, the save the gold challenge so that means I've got 40 pounds in two pound coins already and it goes to my purse I've got one pound where should I put this pound I cannot add it here um, I cannot add it in here. Where should I put my pound? Oh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? So, should I? I could do something. I could. So, let me do i'm going to put five pounds on my self-love letters this is oops, for the new year to start the year it's a bit buffer for my singing envelopes so instead of putting the 10 pounds i'm just going to put five And I've got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 pounds. And I'm going, going to use these six pounds. Can I put it in my you know game? Um, no, I can't. Well, I can. If I've got change, let me see. Could I put three in there? No, I cannot put three, but I've got one pound, so I can't. I, mean, I can't do four. I only have one pound. Doesn't help me. So I cannot put the money here. I will do the six, the number six envelope for the 15 envelopes challenge. And I've got seven pounds now. So, now let's get the money for the week. <clears throat> let's count first. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 130. Put it on my cash tray. I didn't go to the bank to get my cash. I took it from the cash machine, so I just swap a few notes to see if I can have the right denominations. I'm going to start with my purse. Groceries is going to get 30. Diesel needs 50. Cats don't get anything. Work, you'll get 10. Just in case gets 10. Eating out gets 5. And 
Now, I need, I need to swap this 20. Because I need to do my challenge and my sinking funds. So, I need to find... see if I can I have enough no, I don't have enough in birthdays um, what do I have here I have 20 no I've got uh, I've got 15 okay let's see do I have 20 in here yes I do so, just swapping these. I have 15 pounds for my sinking funds. And 10 pounds for challenge. So, I'm going to do the sinking funds first. I'll get my book. Because we're going to roll the dice. And see... Where are we going to put the money? Now, I need to change something here. So like I said last week, I don't have the car payment envelope anymore. But I added again my buffer envelope into my um, binders. So this week, I can't remember when, um, I was watching 50-something um, budgets and uh, she was talking about uh, how she calculates the amount for an emergency fund. But she was also talking about those expenses that are not actually an emergency fund, but it's more like a buffer. And I thought, actually, that makes so much sense. Um, and I wanted to also have a buffer, like in case I need something that is not for my sinking funds, but is not an emergency, and this kind of something that comes as a one-off. So I decided to bring back my buffer envelope. And I don't have the garden bin anymore because that's fully funded. And I've got the electricity and gas fund that I am hoping to make like a one-off payment to ensure that I cover my gas and electricity bill for the winter. So hopefully all this makes sense. I've got my 20 side dice. I'm going to roll it and see where the money goes. So 16. 16 is health. It's actually good that health gets something because I've been spending from there. No, I'm not going to do 16 again. I'm going to roll. Four is car repairs. We put it last week. And because I have got a new car, I don't think I need it. The money there at the moment. Birthdays. Birthday can have five. And the last one goes... Uh, no, I'm going to roll dice again. Um, <laughs> okay, it goes to the buffer. And I think that's it. Because I need, yes, I've got 15 pounds. So, this week I am going to put £5 on birthdays. So, my birthday is the next birthday in the house. And I booked for us to have a meal out. And I also want to buy some new clothes for me, as I always do. I always buy some new clothes for me to wear on that day. I've got £25 in the bank. And I've got 20 40 45.50 in cash I've got 75 pounds altogether so that is more than enough for everything uh, then I need to put five pounds in my buffer my buffer envelope that's going to get his first five pounds and health is also getting five I spent quite a lot from health this week. I spent 14 pounds from health. So it's good that I add some more. So now I've got 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds. The book 
take away. And now I've got £10 for challenge. Bringing back my challenge binder. Now. Can I do it here? Good. Ooh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So, if I do eight, I've got ten pounds. If I can't do, I can't put ten. I've got a three. I've got three fours and a three. The fours are double, so that means I need to put eight with the four. And I've got a three. I don't have 11 pounds and I don't have change to be able to so maybe should I just I could do I could put five that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put five on my 150 challenge and I've got 75 pounds here. Let me just double check. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 70. Oh, no. Something is wrong. But I don't know how to count money. I don't know. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. 70, 75. I always struggle to count the cash. 75 pounds here. So it's getting there. I'm actually halfway now with the challenge. And I'm going to put five on the 15 envelope challenge. So now I've got 12 pounds in here. It's amazing. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment, um, and I hope to see you all uh, next week. Have a great week. Bye.